Watch out for this kid, Henry. Uh, he's, he's going to be for sure. Yeah. Hello, sir. What's your name? Julian.
Don't give me the look, kid. It ain't gonna help.
Uh, I knew that knight was gonna force some, I just knew it. <laughs> At least I defended the queen. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this lucky kid. Hey guys, Brian here. What a fantastic finish between these two, and somehow you just knew this knight was gonna fork somehow. Boom, there it is, and I think Henry low on time. But uh, even if he did have time, it would have been a draw. But alas, the time is a factor. So beautifully done, Julian there. What a fan. This is crazy game. Julian sacking his queen, right? Sacking his bishop early on. And Henry returning the favor. Sacking his queen for the rook here to queen to this A pawn. And it was just a wild, wild game played by both sides. And it was just fantastic to watch. There's so many lines we're going to cover in the analysis. So beautifully done by both. Nicely done, Julian. And. Before we get to the analysis, real quick, there was a huge milestone achieved by the channel last week. So patrons, log in and check it out. Ton of video and pictures and stuff. And some of it will be on the channel. Some of it will only be for patrons. But uh, it, it's really exciting news and um, a little kind of a trial run for future things that we're going to do for the channel. So definitely check it out. Uh, very, very excited about it. It was very, very fun. And... Um, if you guys are not a patron, you can become a link is in the video description. Get access to a ton of cool stuff. A link is in the video description. Really helps support the channel. So definitely check it out. And let's go here in this position first. And I think Julian mentioned in the game, the line he was talking about was in bishop takes. It was knight takes. And this was the line he was talking about. Take, sack, king takes, queen check. And you're going to pick up the rook. So in case any of you guys are wondering, but it was a spicy uh, sack by Julian nonetheless. And... We get to this position in the game, bishop b7 was played, and here starts Julian's big advantage in the game, went from 1.6 to 10.3, let's go move back, will be another move for, for black here. Yes, instead of bishop here, because what bishop here does is that it loses the protection of this knight, right? So, um, instead maybe bishop d8, and kind of tempo the queen, this could be one continuation, the game is a little bit better for for white at 1.9. So going back here, what you realize is that once bishop here, knight here, take, and now this knight is hanging, so you have to play this, which allows the knight to come back. So that was the difference there in case any of you were wondering. And going back here, I think in the game we had knight takes, right? Let's go move back. Will be another move for white here. Yes, I kind of gave it away. The rook, or I'm sorry, the knight is hanging, and this rook is, is not going anywhere, so you can afford to take here, and this could be one continuation, and White definitely better here. Computer's white winning completely at 12.9. So, so a couple of spicy lines there. But let's go here in this position. And in the game we had knight takes. Let's go move back. Julian saying, go ahead, take my take my queen. I'm going to get some stuff for it here. And and uh, was definitely spicy. But let's go move back. If I want to play a little bit more conservative, what would you play as white here? Yes, queen e7. And... This could be one continuation. Knight takes, knight takes, and a lot of spicy stuff here going on. And when the dust has settled here, uh, white will be winning at 6.5. So, in case any of you are wondering, and gotta love Henry's thing here. Queen takes, yeah, just simplify the game and, and, and queen that pawn. So, I just want to point out that was a very, very nice queen sack there by Henry. And last but not least, I think going over here, Instead of h5, just moving the queen out of the way. And I always say this, like, put your pieces on different color squares within the vicinity of an enemy knight and you won't get forked. When they are on the same color squares, they can get forked. So just a little pro tip for you there. And But hard to see when you're the one playing under time pressure. And this could be one continuation. And, I mean, pretty much you can sack here and king is too far away to take this pawn after you kind of blockade this pass pawn and boom, this will be easy win for black. So... That was the way to convert it, but when when time is pressuring and ticking, it's very, very hard when you're the one playing. So, a beautiful game by both. Wow. Nicely done, Julian and Henry. Both spicy sacks. Came down to that brilliant end game and never give up, never surrender. And Julian with the beautiful fork there to kind of secure the win under time pressure. And that was very, very nice to see. So, beautifully done, boys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.